the euro, the official currency of 20 European Union member states collectively known as the Eurozone, has faced a tumultuous period recently. As of December 2024, the euro has weakened to $13.35, marking its lowest level since November 2022. This depreciation reflects the worsening economic indicators and declining business activity across the Eurozone's major economies, shaking investor confidence. If you are new to our channel, please leave a like as well as a sub so you never miss another video. The Euro, the official currency of the Eurozone, has faced significant challenges recently, with its value declining to $13.35, the lowest level since November 2022. This depreciation can be largely attributed to a confluence of factors, highlighting the fragility of the Eurozone's economic landscape. Political turmoil in key Eurozone economies, such as Germany and France, has undermined investor confidence in the currency. Additionally, concerns over potential tariffs under the Trump administration in the United States have added to the economic uncertainties. The euro's proximity to parity with the US dollar, a rare occurrence, underscores the precarious nature of the eurozone's economic situation. The concept of a unified European currency dates back to the 1960s, with the goal of fostering closer economic cooperation among European nations. This vision gained momentum with the Maastricht Treaty in 1992, which laid the groundwork for the Economic and Monetary Union EMU, and set the criteria for adopting a single currency. In 1999, the euro was introduced as an electronic currency for banking and financial transactions, replacing the European currency unit at a one-to-one -one ratio. National currencies remained in circulation, but their exchange rates were irrevocably fixed against the euro. The euro's physical banknotes and coins entered circulation on January 1, 2002, in 12 EU countries, marking the largest cash changeover in history. By March 2002, the euro had entirely replaced national currencies as legal tender. Since its inception, the eurozone has expanded to include additional EU member states that have met the convergence criteria outlined in the Maastricht Treaty. However, the euro has faced significant challenges, such as the sovereign debt crisis in the late 2000s, which tested the resilience and cohesion of the eurozone economies. The current challenges facing the euro are multifaceted, reflecting the broader economic and political uncertainties within the eurozone. The combination of domestic political instability and external trade tensions has undermined investor confidence, contributing to the currency's decline. The fragility of the eurozone's economic landscape is evident in the euro's proximity to parity with the US dollar, a rare and concerning development. As the eurozone navigates these turbulent times, the future trajectory of the euro will be crucial in determining the broader economic and geopolitical landscape of Europe. The ability of policymakers to address the underlying structural issues and restore investor confidence will be crucial in stabilizing the euro and ensuring the long-term viability of the eurozone. Since its inception, the eurozone has expanded to include additional EU member states that have met the convergence criteria outlined in the Maastricht Treaty. As of 2024, 20 EU countries have adopted the euro, with others obligated to join once they fulfill the necessary conditions. The euro has facilitated easier cross-border trade, price transparency, and economic stability within the eurozone. However, it has also faced significant challenges, such as the sovereign debt crisis in the late 2000s, which tested the resilience and cohesion of the eurozone economies. Since its introduction in 1999, the euro has experienced several significant declines, each influenced by distinct economic and geopolitical factors. During the global financial crisis in 2008, the euro depreciated to approximately $1.25, driven by concerns over the stability of the eurozone's financial institutions and the European Central Bank's ECB, monetary policy responses to the crisis. The widespread uncertainty led investors to seek safer assets, resulting in a stronger US dollar and a weaker euro. The European sovereign debt crisis from 2010 to 2012 saw the euro fall to around $1.20 as markets grappled with fiscal instability in countries like Greece, Ireland, and Portugal. Despite interventions by the ECB and the International Monetary Fund, fears of potential defaults and the sustainability of the eurozone intensified, 
leading to significant capital outflows and further depreciation of the euro. More recently, in 2022, the euro reached parity with the US dollar for the first time in two decades. This was attributed to a confluence of factors, including economic challenges within the eurozone and an energy crisis exacerbated by geopolitical tensions, as well as divergent monetary policies between the ECB and the US Federal Reserve. The European Union's sanctions on Russia in response to the invasion of Ukraine have had significant economic ramifications for the eurozone and the euro's value. A considerable share of the EU's energy imports, particularly natural gas and oil, previously came from Russia. Sanctions targeting these imports have caused supply disruptions and driven up energy prices, contributing to inflationary pressures. In 2021, the EU imported 71 billion euros worth of oil from Russia, representing a substantial portion of its energy needs. With sanctions now banning 90% of EU oil imports from Russia, energy costs and inflationary pressures have surged. Trade and investment between the EU and Russia have also been severely restricted, with over 48 billion euros in goods exports to Russia and 91.2 billion euros in goods imports from Russia blocked. This reduced trade has adversely impacted sectors reliant on Russian markets and resources, exacerbating the economic slowdown. The escalation of the Ukraine-Russia conflict, marked by the deployment of long-range missiles, has intensified geopolitical tensions and raised significant concerns about regional stability and economic repercussions, including threats to the euro's stability. In November 2024, Ukraine took a bold step in its military strategy by deploying Western-supplied long-range missiles, signaling a dramatic escalation in the ongoing war. This marked the first authorized use of U.S.-supplied Army Tactical Missile Systems ADICMS, for strikes within Russian territory, a move that was matched by the U.K.'s approval of British-supplied Storm Shadow missiles. Russia's response was swift and pointed. President Vladimir Putin announced the successful test of the Oresnik, a hypersonic ballistic missile capable of reaching Mach 10 speeds. Soon after, Russia launched a retaliatory strike using the Oresnik missile, targeting a military site in Dnipro, Ukraine. This marked a significant escalation in Russia's military capabilities and its determination to counter Western-supplied weaponry. The involvement of advanced missile systems from both sides has highlighted the growing role of Western nations in the war, intensifying fears of broader regional instability. The economic implications are becoming increasingly evident, particularly for the Eurozone. The heightened tensions and ongoing hostilities have led to increased market volatility, as investors wary of the potential for the conflict to escalate further are showing signs of withdrawing from Eurozone markets, further undermining the Euro's stability. The Ukraine-Russia conflict has prompted neighboring countries, such as Poland and Finland, to significantly enhance their defense capabilities in response to escalating security concerns. Poland has launched the East Shield Project, a comprehensive defense strategy aimed at fortifying its eastern borders with Russia and Belarus. Key components of the initiative include the construction of approximately 800 kilometers 500 miles, of physical barriers, the deployment of advanced surveillance systems, and the development of forward operating bases and logistics hubs. The Polish government has allocated approximately 10 billion zlotys, 2.3 billion euros, to this project, with plans to complete the fortifications by 2028. Additionally, Poland's defense spending is projected to rise to 4.7% of GDP by 2025, underscoring its commitment to national and EU security. As a newly inducted NATO member, Finland is also bolstering its defense capabilities to align with alliance standards and address regional security challenges. Finland is committed to purchasing 64 Lockheed Martin F-35A Lightning II multi-role fighters, valued at approximately 8.4 billion euros, to replace its aging F-A-18 Hornet fleet. The country is also acquiring advanced munitions, including up to 150 AGM-88G Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missiles AARGMER, and Extended Range Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missiles JASSMER, to complement its F-35 fleet. Finland's defense budget for 2024 is set at approximately 6.5 billion euros, reflecting a significant investment in immediate security needs. 
the increased defense spending by Poland and Finland, along with the heightened military tensions in the region, underscore the growing geopolitical and economic uncertainties that are weighing on the Eurozone and the Euro's stability. The Ukraine-Russia conflict has severely strained the Eurozone economy, primarily through rising energy costs and disrupted supply chains. Natural gas futures surged 18% in November, reaching their highest level in a year, driven by colder U.S. weather forecasts and concerns over European liquefied natural gas LNG, supplies. These price hikes are expected to push electricity costs higher, adding to the inflationary pressures. The elevated borrowing costs in affected nations reflect investor concerns, prompting the ECB to intervene with measures like the Securities Markets Program and outright monetary transactions. Continued escalation of the conflict could lead to higher inflation and weaken economic growth, intensifying pressure on the euro. The re-election of Donald Trump in November 2024 has further contributed to the euro's decline. Trump's proposed 10% levy on EU imports and a steep 60% tariff on Chinese goods have raised concerns over the impact on the eurozone's export-dependent industries, particularly the automotive and pharmaceutical sectors. Analysts estimate these tariffs could reduce Europe's GDP by 1.5%, equivalent to 260 billion euros. Meanwhile, the US dollar has strengthened as a result of anticipated economic growth, with the dollar index reaching a 13-month high. The combination of economic challenges within the eurozone, geopolitical tensions, and divergent monetary policies between the ECB and the US Federal Reserve have all contributed to the euro's weakening, now at a 13-month low of 15 cents. The euro has faced a tumultuous period with its value declining to $13.35, marking its lowest level since November 2022. This depreciation reflects the worsening economic indicators and declining business activity across the eurozone's major economies, shaking investor confidence. The euro's struggles can be attributed to a confluence of factors, including political turmoil in Germany and France, concerns over potential U.S. tariffs, and the escalating Ukraine-Russia conflict. The heightened geopolitical tensions and their economic implications, as well as the re-election of Donald Trump, have further exacerbated the euro's decline. The eurozone's economic and political challenges, coupled with the growing defense spending by neighboring countries, underscore the fragility of the euro's stability. As the region navigates these turbulent times, the future trajectory of the euro will be crucial in determining the broader economic and geopolitical landscape of Europe. Thanks for watching till the end, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as sub so more people can see this.